Come on. Hey, what's going on guys? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to replace a uh, key fob battery for a Toyota or Scion key, the kind that kind of looks like a, a guitar pick almost, that kind of shape. Now these keys were used on a lot of different Toyota vehicles, so uh, this should help you figure out how to replace the battery. So um, in case you follow me for the BMW stuff, I already did a video on how to replace an E90 key. So I will link that video in case you wanna check that out. But anyway, let's get right into this Toyota key. So if you look at the very top of the key by the key ring, you're gonna notice this really small slit. And what you wanna do is you wanna take a small uh, flathead screwdriver, just put that in there and twist. And you'll see it pop open just like that. You can just kind of go around the outside like that and pop the back cover off. Now you don't have to take the key ring off. I know that's kind of a pain, so just leave that on there. And then what you want to do is just take out this little plastic module. And this is what has the battery in it. So you can set the cover aside. And then the easiest way to get this apart is to do the tab on the top. If you look at the sides of it, it's kind of got these little tabs all the way around that keep it sealed. But this one here, on the very top of it is the easiest one. So if you wanna take your screwdriver, just stick it in there. And then as you're doing that, I like to put my thumbnail in there and then that way when it pops out, um, I'll have some leverage on it. So just take the screwdriver and press down. And then that back cover will just pop open. You can set that aside. Now, if you take this apart, it's kind of interesting. It's got like a, this little rubber piece, it's like weather sealing. That way in case you accidentally like uh, wash your key or something, you know, put it through the laundry. Uh, that's what that is for. And then if you look at the back of this, that's the actual battery itself. Now my key for my Scion FRS uses a CR2016 battery. Although I've seen some of these other Toyota keys use the CR2025. So uh, before you order one of these or before you go to the store and buy one, just open up your key and see which battery uh, your actual key takes. But anyway, we're gonna pop that out and put the new battery in. So there's the old battery. And then, like I said, I just bought these from the store, but you can buy these like uh, at Walmart or whatever, or I will actually link these down below on Amazon. That way you get the right ones. So let's open these up. And then this will go in here with the positive side facing up towards you. Just gonna snap that in. Just like that. Then we'll go ahead and put these covers back on. So once you've got the new battery in, you can just press any of these buttons and you should see a little red LED light and that's how you know the key is working properly. So there you have it. If you have a, either a Toyota or a Scion product, you feel like the key is not reaching far enough or you have to be like right next to the car to be able to use it. Now you know how to replace the battery. Uh, again, the link for the battery is gonna be down below um, if you wanna buy one on Amazon or just buy it at the store, whatever is easier for you. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, if you found it helpful. Hopefully I saved you some money from not having to go to the dealership. Um, subscribe to my channel for more videos just like this, how to work on your own car and I'll see you guys in the next video.